last sunday you are seeing the parable of the 10 virgins five wise virgins and five foolish virgins and today we have another parable parable of the the talents both these parables are in matthew chapter 25 and both these parables are meant for the same purpose the purpose of this parable towards the end of this chapter we can see so we can divide this chapter in three the first part is the parable of the virgins the second part the parable of the talents and the third part is the last judgment where the son of god son of man coming with the angels separating the good ones the just ones and the wicked ones and their wicked ones are being punished so the purpose of both this parable is to make people understand how to prepare themselves to receive son of man when he comes in the, for the last judgment so in this parable there are two person uh, and the rich man the the owner of the house and there are three servants the first and second servants the master had a, 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 an understanding of these three servants he, he understood the money to these three servants according to their ability the first one we know got five talents second one two and the third one only one talent the the first and second one went out and traded with the money and they doubled the money whereas the third one the master knew that how this man is and according to his ability he gave only one talent he was when he received the one talent he was looking right and left what he got what he got he got five he got two and i got only one so he started grumbling against the master since his nature as explained in the gospel his character is wicked and lazy what did he do out of fear he buried this talent in the ground why he was afraid he was afraid of the master he was afraid of doing something he was afraid of doing some business spending money he was afraid of depositing this money in the bank so the fear overcame this man and stopped him to do any business with this money so he buried this money in the ground because keeping this money in the hand or at the home and in the house can be lost thief can rob the money if he does some business the business may not be successful and money can be lost so he buried this money where no thief can steal this money in the ground and this first two they have faith in the master they are they are faithful servants they have faith and confidence in the master they knew that if i invest the money for some business or some trade if i lose some money my master is a loving master my master is a loving master he will not warn me or punish me so that is the was the mentality of the first two servants so they did 
something to double the money and they got double money whereas the third one was afraid of the master has no confidence in the master so he was burying this money in the ground now let us what is this talent it's not uh, this is meant this is a t- talent is is a, in the jewish it is money it is gold equal to gold most probably it is gold and 5000 denarii is equal to one talent so it is a huge amount one talent is very huge amount and the master was ready to distribute his amount with his with his servants now what jesus meant this in this parable it is the talent it is not the money it is not the wealth but it is the it is a gift it is a gift that god is giving to each and every person it is god's gift it is in the form different forms we receive the gifts there are physical gifts and spiritual gifts we receive physical gifts we have a lot of capacities abilities skills personality skills like singing dancing and speaking there are a lot of skills we receive there are technical skills computer mechanical all these skills they are all gifts god's gift and it is free just like the talents are given to the servants freely in the same way these gifts are given to each one of us freely and the purpose of these gifts are to serve god and to serve the people to serve god and to serve the people so we use these gifts example those who are expert in computers they do their business with the computer they work with the computer they earn money at the same time we should not forget that we use this skill to serve god and his people to serve the church and the spiritual gifts we have all of us have given the spiritual gifts at the time of baptism the holy spirit is the most important spiritual gift what we have received in our life the holy spirit when he comes the the disabled become unable just look at the disciples they were all afraid of people going out they are not even able to talk not even able to give a homily or preach the good, good news gospel they were weak but when the holy spirit came they became most powerful courageous people and face ready to face any enemies going to the jail in the prison facing the leaders the government leaders they have the courage that is a gift free gifts given to the people through the holy spirit and all of us have given these gifts some of you have given this gift five or two or one but our responsibility is to double it make it double use it for the purpose of the people the faithful for the church for the sake of god that is the purpose of these gifts faith is another example of our spiritual gift all of us have got faith we believe in jesus christ we have the faith and how do we develop multiply the faith how increase the faith within us share it with others share it with the people around us that is what all the the whole the church was doing and is still doing my faith i am distributing with you as a priest 
I am distributing the faith what I have received with you. In the same way, each one of us can distribute your own faith what you have received with people in your family, your friends, your neighbors, your co-workers. You can share your faith. They also will receive the faith. So my dear brothers and sisters, those gifts, physical or spiritual gifts, what we have received, is a free gift God has given us. We must be grateful to God, thankful to God. I know that most of you are, all of you are using these gifts. I see people inside the church, outside of the church, from morning till evening, working for the church, cleaning the garden, cleaning the church. Some people are coming for singing, practicing, working in the offices and teaching the children, the faith formation team. So all these, we are, we are uh, uh, trading our faith and we are trying to multiply our, our gifts. So, and I appreciate all of you that you are trying your, your level maximum to multiply the gifts what God has given. But remember, the first servant who multiplied five talents into ten, he is again given. I will entrust you more responsibilities. And to the second one also, God, the, the master told, I will address you. Now you God only, you are faithful in small matters. So I will give you more responsibilities. So if you prove that you are faithful in little things, God will address with big things, big matters. That is how we grow in our faith. That is how we grow in our faith. Once you prove yourself that you are sincere to God and you are using your gifts, multiplying it, and God will again give you more and more gifts. So my dear brothers and sisters, let us try to improve the gifts or multiply the gifts what we have received. Even if it is even if sometimes we will be physically weak. There are people, disabled people, physically disabled people. But God also has given some other gifts to them. And they are trying to multiply the gifts. So let us not be like the third person, the wicked and lazy servant. God never called us, you wicked and lazy servant. God, whereas God was calling the other two, my good and faithful servant. In, the, in this parable we have seen, my good and faithful servant. But to the third one, you wicked and lazy servant. So God, let us hopefully work that God will call each one of us at the time of the last judgment, my good and faithful servant enter into my joy and that is our uh, our purpose of our life in this world god bless you all